to come back to fix the broken bolts that's on here. Jack the gate up and get it to where it's easy to get that bolt out. And then pull it out and put the new bolt in. It should be just that simple. Here's the bolt. Uh, this is all right on the ground. This is this uh, shaft was broken right there and uh, I had to cut the head off so I could knock it through the bottom of it. But one of the mistakes that I made when I was doing that is I wasn't knocking it through with the bolt. So if I were to knock it through with the bolt, yeah, it may damage the end, the new bolt that is, may damage the end, but uh, um, at least it's all the way through there. But it, it'd be threading it at the same time that it's pushing the old one out. Therefore, I wouldn't have to worry about alignment. But I knocked, I cut the head off and then the left with this piece and the at that time the shaft had broken through so i pulled the gate all the way off the hinge and then this almost pretty much just fell out the bottom uh, and then i had to realign it and get the washers aligned and put the new bolt in the bolt is through there now and i'm not sure if that fixes our issue with the gate not closing correctly uh, in another video I showed that Let's see if we can get this house off my hand I turn this back on and my tools are out of the way so we'll go ahead and uh, close it Let's see what we get I love these gate operators they're just so reliable and liftmaster has unfortunately changed everything around so it's closing just about the same so uh, I'll make my recommendations as far as how to fix that and uh, and repair the bent pickets that they have I was it did get confirmed that it got hit by a car not that that's why the uh, hinge was broke but you can see that it's got the new bolt in there now I did training this morning on uh, on actually the manual override for the gate and then the access and video surveillance system that I have at this property but you could see that the uh, pickets are bent. So that'll need to get replaced and that'll push the gate up and possibly get this arm aligned again. Uh, but you can see because the distance, the distance has changed from where it connects to the gate, it has moved back an inch, um, maybe even an inch and a quarter and that's caused this arm not to lock in position. And if this arm's not locked in position, it makes it easier for the gate to just be open manually. So uh, I've overcompensated a little bit and uh, that'll make it that much harder for it to get pushed open. Um, and uh, the way that it's set up, it'll be tougher to, to pull open as well too, but there is a lot of flex in the gate. So what I'll recommend doing this time um, is I'll run a, a piece of strap off the frame of the gate all the way to the end of here, all the way across the runners. And uh, that's after I get the picket straight. Um, and then we'll have to most likely uh, cut this arm off and, uh, and straighten it back up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put some lubricant in this right now, just in case I do have to um, break these uh, Allen heads loose these uh, bolts loose. If I had to break those loose, um, might as well start getting lubricated now. But uh, it's uh, safe as it ever was. So we'll put the cover back on and get back on with enjoying our Saturday. Safe car controls, Dallas, Texas.